Hi, it's Miss Allen and I'm coming to you from the Story Tower at Billings Public Library and it is time for story time. Let's get started. Two little hands go clap, clap, clap. Two little feet go tap, tap, tap. Two little fists go thump, thump, thump. And two little feet go jump, jump, jump. One little child turns round and round and one little child sits quietly down. So before we get started with story time today, I just want to remind everyone that this is the last story time for the month of May, okay? So there will not be one on the 18th, there will not be one on the 25th. That also means there will not be a craft for the next two weeks in May, okay? We're taking a little break to get ready for summer reading, which means that story time will start back up virtually June 1st. I know a lot of you have asked me, when are we going to go back to in-person programming? Um, we're still kind of waiting to see how the community does with getting vaccinated and keeping the COVID down. But because we're planning summer reading, we plan summer reading virtually. We don't want to start in person and then have to pull back again. So summer reading will be virtual. All of our programs will be online, either through Facebook, YouTube, Zoom. And then the hope and my plan is that we start back up in September. September, I'm so excited I can't speak, in September in person. Okay, so as long as we keep the COVID down and the vaccines up, we should have programming back in person in September. For right now, we're going to have camping story time today. We'll take a couple of weeks off. We'll start back up in June. Our story times for the summer reading program are going to be about animals because summer reading is tales and tales. I'm going to stand up and show you my shirt. You ready? See, it says tales like you have a tail and tales like stories. And that's what we're going to do this year. We're going to have stories about animals with tails or mostly animals. So my story times every day, every Tuesday in June and July will be about different animal habitats and the animals that live there. And then Miss Molly will have some fantastic crafts. And the zoo has partnered with us to do a video every week on Wednesdays about an animal that lives in the habitat we have talked about that lives at the zoo. So lots of great programming coming up. I recommend you check out our YouTube channel where you found this video to also find a great video Miss Molly and I put together of all the programs we have coming up for summer reading. And then there's going to be a drone flyover video of the prizes for summer reading. So summer reading starts June 1st. Everything starts back up June 1st. Summer reading, story time, crafts, June 1st. Okay. So let's get started with our last story time in May, which is camping. Something I know all of us are super excited to do this year. So let's go camping. Oh, and who's this by? This is by Jan Mater. Fit, going camping, fish, hike, swim, and sing. Have fun camping with family and friends. So you're getting the fishing pole ready? People camp in tents, motor homes, and cabins. They set up their things at a campsite. See, I'm putting the, camp, the camp, uh, tent together. Campers cook over campfires. They roast hot dogs with a stick. What's another great thing to have over a campfire? That's right, a s'more. Campers pack clothes and hiking shoes. They remember their fishing pole and bait. There's lots of things you have to remember when you go camping, right? Flashlights help campers see in the dark. Those are important when you go camping. Sleeping bags keep campers warm and cozy. They fall asleep breathing the fresh night air. Camping safety. Wild animals like camp food. Campers put their food away before leaving their campsite. Right? So you have to put it in your camper and lock it up or maybe you hang it from a tree. But you don't leave your food out, right? Those bear safe containers. Campers pack a first aid kit. They use bandages for scrapes and cuts, which can happen when you're out camping and crawling around. 
having fun. Here we go. Marshmallows, graham crackers, and chocolate. Let's sit around the campfire and make s'mores. Doesn't that look like fun? So we have a couple of great songs to sing today. The first one is called Going Camping, and it is sent to the tune of I'm a Little Teapot. So first we're going to be going camping, so you're going camping. It's time to pack my tent, my bedroll, and a snack. I'll sit by the campfire, it's glow so bright, then snooze in my tent till morning light. Can you do that with me? Okay, here it goes. I am going camping, time to pack my tent, my bedroll, and a snack. I'll sit by the campfire, it's glow so bright, then snooze in my tent till morning light. Alrighty, and then the second we're going to do, second one we're going to do is called A Camping We Will Go. Hi-ho the dairy -o, a camping we will go, okay? It's hi-ho and off we go, a camping we will go. So, camping maybe? Let's do camping like this, because then we're going to pitch our tent, chop some wood, light a fire, cook our dinner, tell fun stories. Can you smile? Very good. And then go to sleep. That's a lot to do when you go camping. Are you ready? A camping we will go, a camping we will go, hi ho and off we go, a camping we will go. First we pitch our tent, first we pitch our tent, hi ho and off we go, first we pitch our tent. Next we chop some wood, next we chop some wood, hi ho and off we go, next we chop some wood. We light the fire now, we light the fire now. Hi ho and off we go, we light the fire now. We cook our dinner now, we cook our dinner now. Hi ho and off we go, we cook our dinner now. We tell fun stories now, we tell fun stories now. Hi ho and off we go, we tell fun stories now. It's time to go to sleep, it's time to go to sleep. Hi-ho and off we go, it's time to go to sleep. Very good. Alrighty. The next book is by one of my favorite authors. We have done the rainy day one and now she has a camping day one. And this is Patricia Lacken. I love the rainy day one. Do you remember these guys? I think this is Will, Bill, Will, Bill, Pam, and Sam. That's who it is. Remember, Miss Allen gets those confused sometimes, but it is always fun and cute stories. So here we go. What shall we do today, said Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. Cook out, said Sam. Hang out, said Pam. Work out, said Will. Camp out, said Jill. Yes! So Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. There they go. Take maps, said Sam. The pack, said Pam. The light, said Will. The tent, said Jill. We're off, said Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. Car all packed up. They drove and drove and drove and drove. They parked their van behind a grove. North, south, east, west. They picked the trail that looked the best. Their walking stick, they're ready to go. They hiked through woods, they climbed hills too, they stopped inside. Wow, what a view. Look at people hiking up the mountain. Birds, said Sam. Trees, said Pam. Flowers, said Will. Bees, said Jill. Free, said Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. They crossed a stream, they jumped a fence. Let's camp here, set up your tent. Tie where, said Sam. Peg there, said Pam. Can't see, said Will. Help me, said Jill. Finally, said Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. 
finally get their tent up. Sometimes that takes a little bit of work. Let's eat, said Sam. Hot dog, said Pam. And beans, said Will. Oops, toots, said Jill. Be you, said Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. <laughs> S'more, said Sam. More, said Pam. Song, said Will. Story, said Jill. Scary, said Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. Are they scared after their stories? Uh-oh. They put out their fire. They put out their light. They shivered in the ink black night. Who snored, asked Sam. Who roared, asked Pam. Who growled, asked Will. Who yowled, said Jill. Let's see, said Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. Do you see it? Who is that? Why, Joss, cried Sam. Long claws, cried Pam. Big paws, said Will. Loud roar, said Jill. Dinosaur, cried Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. Is it a dinosaur? Let's cram, said Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. They grabbed their things. They ran and ran. They sped away in their small van. Stop, said Sam. Safe, said Pam. Home, said Will. Let's camp, said Jill. Snored Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. Was that a dinosaur? Is it really a dinosaur? You look at that. Tell me if that's not a dinosaur. Who was it? It was. It was one of them. I think that's Jill, isn't it? Or maybe Pam. I don't remember. Um, Pam. No, Jill. I was right the first time. It was Jill. It was Jill's shadow, not a dinosaur. Oh, and they had to go home. But they decided to camp in their backyard. That's fun to camp in your backyard, too. If you can't go out in the wilderness, you could camp in your backyard. Alrighty, so we're going to do both songs again. I'm going to put them up on the screen. There they are. And we are going to sing them to the tune of I'm a Little Teapot. Here we go. I am going camping. Time to pack my tent, my bedroll and a snack. I'll sit by the campfire, it's glow so bright, then snooze in my tent till morning light. Alrighty, and then a camping we will go. Hi ho the Dario, you ready? A camping we will go, a camping we will go, hi ho and off we go, a camping we will go. First we pitch our tent, first we pitch our tent, Hi ho and off we go, first we pitch our tent. Next we chop some wood, next we chop some wood. Hi ho and off we go, next we chop some wood. We light the fire now, we light the fire now. Hi ho and off we go, okay. Now we light the campfire now. We cook our dinner now, we cook our dinner now. Hi ho and off we go, we cook our dinner now. We tell fun stories now, we tell fun stories now. Hi ho and off we go, we tell fun stories now. It's time to go to sleep, it's time to go to sleep. Hi ho and off we go, it's time to go to sleep. Alrighty, our last story before our flannel board. A camping spree with Mr. McGee. We have a couple of Mr. McGee stories at the library. This one is by Chris Van Dusen. He also does um, If I Built a Car, and If I Built a House. So if you've ever seen those ones, this is the same author. A Camping Spree with Mr. McGee. This is a hint of what is coming. Do you see that? There we go. Early one morning at 7.03, Mr. McGee and his little dog, D. Packed up the camper and hitched up the load, hopped in the rambler and then hit the road. They drove to the mountains far from the sea for two nights of camping, or possibly three. See the little dog? That's deep. There's nothing like camping, said Mr. McGee. I know you will love it. Just wait and see. 
The views are fantastic. There's hardly a sound aside from the wild wildlife. There's no one around. The air is so sweet, you'll sleep like a log, said Mr. McGee to his small spotted dog. A few hours later, they took a sharp right and found a great spot to lay camp for the night. It was high on a hill with a beautiful view of Mount Adams, Mount Lincoln, and Jefferson too. But perhaps the most wonderful feature of all was the brook that ran over a steep waterfall. See the deer? Beautiful, isn't it? Dee gathered pine cones and branches and logs. McGee made a campfire and cooked some hot dogs. And as the sun set behind far distant knolls, they sat roasting marshmallows over the coals. As the emperors went out, they felt tired and doozy, so they climbed in their bunk beds all comfy and cozy. But while they were falling asleep without care, along came a stumbling, bumbling bear. A kindly old bear whose sight wasn't so clear. He couldn't see far and he couldn't see near, but he could smell marshmallows, sticky and sweet. This smell made him hungry and he wanted a treat. Do you see what happened? They left their marshmallows out. He sniffed out the place where the marshmallows lay, but the car and the camper were in the bear's way. Yet that didn't stop the sneaky old snitch. He simply tried squeezing right under the hitch. And as he was shimmying into the gap, he pushed up the hitch, which let go with a snap. So did he separate the trailer from the car just to get to those marshmallows? <gasps> what happened? And now that the camper and car were untied, they started to roll down the rocky hillside. The car bounced away on the old logging road while the camper was headed to where the stream flowed. It flew down the hill in a wild bumpy ride with Dee and McGee sleeping soundly inside. Oh my goodness, look. They were snoring and snoozing, enjoying a dream when splash went the camper right into the stream. Oh my goodness. The splash shook the camper. They bumped out of bed. Now what in the world was that? Mr. McGee said. And when he looked out and saw where they were, his st hair stood on end and so did these fur. They were caught in the rapids, but that wasn't all. They were headed smack dab for the big waterfall. Dee and McGee both started to quiver as faster and faster they headed down river. But just when they thought they'd fall over the edge, what do you think's gonna happen? They got stuck on that rock. Their camper got stuck on a rock on the ledge. So there they were, stranded, McGee and his pup, on top of a waterfall 50 feet up. <gasps> what is on the edge of the, what is that? Meanwhile, the nearsighted bear from before was searching for one little marshmallow more. When lo and behold, as if out of a dream, he spied something sweet floating over the stream. But what the bear thought was a marshmallow treat was really the hitch and not something to eat. See, it's the hitch, not a marshmallow. The bear was determined to capture his prize, so he jumped in the water right up to his thighs. He splashed through the stream to the edge of the fall, and he snatched up the trailer hitch, camper, and all. There he is. Dee felt a tug. McGee heard a knock as the bear pulled the camper right off of the rock. He dragged them both all the way back to the bank when he realized the hitch was not sweet, but quite rank. He spit out the hitch and left in dismay while McGee and Dee's camper again rolled away. It flew down the path with a jolt and a jar and stopped in some bushes right next to the car. Dee popped her head out. McGee looked out too. Had they really stopped rolling? Could it be true? At last things were quiet and peaceful and still. They hooked up the hitch and drove off down the hill. And on the way home, McGee said to Dee, that trip wasn't quite like I thought it would be. 
So when they got home with the sky turning red, they decided to camp in the backyard instead. That is a great story, isn't it? And I love the rhyme. They did a great job with the rhyme. All right, so we're going to go do our flannel board, but first we're going to put up both of our songs to practice again. We'll start with Going Camping, which again is to the tune of I'm a Little Teapot. Here it is. I'm going camping, time to pack my tent, my bedroll, and a snack. I'll sit by the campfire, it's glow so bright, then snooze in my tent till morning light. Here's a camping we will go. A camping we will go, a camping we will go, hi ho and off we go, a camping we will go. First we pitch our tent, first we pitch our tent, hi ho and off we go, first we pitch our tent. Next we chop some wood, next we chop some wood, hi ho and off we go, next we chop some wood. We light the campfire now, we light the campfire now. Hi ho and off we go, we light the campfire now. We cook our dinner now, we cook our dinner now. Hi ho and off we go, we cook our dinner now. We tell fun stories now, we tell fun stories now. Hi ho and off we go, we tell fun stories now. It's time to go to sleep, it's time to go to sleep. Hi ho and off we go, it's time to go to sleep. All right, we're back and we have a flannel board. So one thing you noticed in all of our stories and in our songs is a campfire. So before we talk about a campfire, we should talk about being safe around a campfire. So when you're out camping, your grown up will be the one that lights your campfire unless they're helping you. So never do it yourself. It is fire and it's not safe, okay? Secondly, we should stay away from our campfire. We should not try to put our hands into it and touch it because it's very, very hot. Also be careful that you don't walk very close to it. You don't want to fall in your campfire. That could be very bad too. Campfires are great for roasting hot dogs and marshmallows for s'mores, but they can be hot and dangerous, so please be careful, okay? So let's do this song. This is called Camping in the Starry Night. And you will see that we have, excuse me, <coughs> a campfire and we have logs on our campfire, okay? So how many logs do we have, can you count? might be hard to see, but we have one, two, three, four, five. So, of course, we have five logs. Five little logs on the fire burn bright. The wind goes... Can you make your wind go... <coughs> Excuse me, I got a tickle. The owl goes... Hoo, hoo, and one little log turns into soot. And what happened? Our flames got lower. Alrighty, now we have four little logs. Four little logs on the fire burn bright. The wind goes <sighs> The owl goes whoo. And one little log turns into soot. And the flame got lower. <gasps> what? Three little logs on the fire burn bright. The wind goes whoosh the owl goes whoo and one little log turns into soot and the flames got lower look at that we have less fire two little logs on the fire burn bright the wind goes whoosh the owl goes whoo and one little log turns into soot and the flame gets Lower. Look how tiny our flame is. One little log on the fire burns bright. The wind goes whoosh. The owl goes whoo. And one little log turns into soot. And it's all dark now. Good night. That was great, wasn't it? That was fun to see all of our little flames get lower and lower. Here's the flame we started with. Look at that. Much bigger than this little one, isn't it? Alrighty, guys. I'm glad that you joined me for story time this spring. 
Remember that we will start back with story time in June, on June 1st, and we'll have a whole about eight weeks of story time before we take a break in July, at the end of July, okay? So again, two weeks of vacation. Miss Molly's got a fantastic camping, uh, camping craft, I think. I think it might be a s'more. How fantastic! And I will see you in June. Have a great couple of weeks, guys. Already on my face, I have a nose. On my feet, I have ten toes. Have two eyes that I can blink. And here's my head so I can think. I have a chin and very near. I have two ears so I can hear. Have two arms, I reach up high. And with my hands, I wait. Good. Hello, welcome to Adventures in Storytime. This week's theme is camping. So we are going to make these really cute little s'mores out of popsicle sticks and construction paper. It's really easy and they turn out um, really nice. So we will get started. You need popsicle sticks, you should have nine. You need a piece of brown construction paper. This is the chocolate. You need a piece of like tan or beige construction paper. These are the graham crackers. Um, and you can use whatever you want. You can use paint, um, crayons, markers, whatever to color these. Um, they are, this is going to be like the marshmallows, so um, we did ours white. I have already painted mine, um, and I also glued it just um, for the purpose of doing this craft with you guys. But um, I'll show you what how to make it look like this. How to make um, how to put it together. So you will take two of your popsicle sticks and lay them flat. They're going to be parallel to each other, so um, parallel means they don't cross. And then you put the other seven on top, let's make sure you can see, like this. So this would be, I would be doing this step once my paint is dry. Okay, so that's what it will look like, your marshmallow. You want to leave a little bit of space at the top um, for the graham crackers. So anyway, that is how you would put it together. and then. Um, after putting it together, you just glue. Once the glue dries, which is the step that we're on here, we can start working on the sandwich part. Okay, so it's gonna look like this ultimately. I don't think I can pick it up, but it'll look like that. And we'll just do one piece at a time. So we'll start with this top piece here.
Okay, so I just glued this top popsicle stick and then these two, and that should be enough glue, but if you need more, you can use more. And any kind of glue should work. Okay. So we'll put on our chocolate next. You can um, do it like I did here. So my chocolate covers the bottom and then also these two popsicle sticks. So you can either do it that way and leave space or you can put it a little higher so you have less space and then put the graham cracker right on top. But um, I like the way I did it here. So I'm just gonna cover these two and then these two and glue that on. And it's okay if these aren't completely covered because we still have the graham cracker, so. Okay, so I have it, the chocolate glued on. Now I'm just going to glue this to the bottom. And I'm going to use this glue because this glue is really hard, hard to get out. There is my some more. So I can be done or I can do a little decoration. I like the face that I did on this one, so I'm gonna do that again. This is what it will look like when you're all finished. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.